My lord, Commander Shalhoub wants to see you. Let him in. Welcome. I've arrested Shalhoub, and now you are coming back from our new heavy defeat. I understand your distress, but their soldiers did not give us any chance. They made a sudden attack upon us in our ambuscade and took over our weapons and gear and captured our best soldiers. This is our punishment. Our king should have surprised them in their houses before they have a chance to attack you in the battlefield. And then they dare to attack us here on our land and take our children, our goods, and also our crops. What shall we do now? I see ruins everywhere. Well, I will consider this issue later with the other leaders. Talut, the Israeli people took all our harvest and the farmer has accepted to sell them for less than pennies. Thank you. It is to God you should give thanks. Thank God, Simon. They have been in agony and ruins with their continuous defeat since long ago. They couldn't overcome it yet, but it seems that they have surrendered to it and accepted it. God did not predestine for them any recovery. What shall we do now? We are all in ruins now. First, we should strongly take our revenge. We shall confront them in a fight. How can we triumph when they stole our Ark of the Covenant? How can we fight and we have no power or the means to get into another war? We will not be able to do anything until we stand up and decide to get back what was stolen from us. Mm. You are right. That's why I suggest that we restructure our army to get back our rights. They captured the best of our men. Who will lead us in our war against mighty Jalut now and bring us back our Ark of the Covenant? Let's ask our prophet Samuel to lead us to the appropriate man. May God protect you, Prophet Samuel. We accepted Prophet Samuel's judgment. Let's go and see the Lord. Those people want to see you. It seems they are from the upper class. Hello. Hello. We are leaders of the Israelites. We consulted our prophet Samuel, and he sent us to you. Prophet Samuel told us that Allah has chosen you to be leader of the Israeli people so that we can confront Jalut and his army. And we want you to come with us to bring up our issue in front of other leaders. So what do you think? I see it's Allah's will, and it is my duty to obey. Allah bless you. So, let's go. I object! How can we entrust ourselves to his charge? And he's not even a Jewish 
of power or riches. Shall we entrust our leadership to a man from Benjamin who has neither riches nor powers? We accepted Prophet Samuel's judgment. After he consulted Allah and chose Talu, he asserted that Allah will prove for us that our victory will be under the command of Talu. But we can't see until now any of that proof. God's will be on earth. We will finally restore Moses and Harun's blessings. But we still have to prepare our gears and confront Jalut. What do you think? Let Jalut take command of our army and bring us victory. of the covenant it's gone your highness my king it disappeared what do you mean it disappeared and how could it happen uh, we woke up this morning and didn't find it my king the army commander wants to see you immediately let him in this is an insult how can they steal the ark of the covenant from our palace what? They stole the Ark of Covenant? I came here to inform you that Israeli people are preparing their army to confront us. They will pay dearly for it. Prepare our army to meet them. When are we going to start moving? Let them rest a little bit. We have a hard mission. We should attack Jalut and his army before they attack us. But we have learned that Jalut has decided to attack with all his mighty army. How can we possibly defy them? Attacking Jalut and his army is much easier than waiting for them to come. Don't forget that God is on our side. How many minorities conquered bigger? and more powerful groups, because it was God's will that it be so. Then, why did you leave behind all people who have any kind of business, or farm, or someone to take care of? Many of them lingered from joining the army. We could have been so much numerous. I think we should wake them up right now. They are not used to preparing themselves quickly. They could have been a heavy load on us. I wanted to select the elite, those who are going to fight bravely with us until God gives us victory. Ah, uh, do you drink? How can we possibly afford our thirst and then go on in the fight? Why does he forbid us of drinking from the river in the first place? He is our commander and our leader, and we have to obey and to be patient until we achieve victory. Well, I will follow his order and drink a little bit. As for me, I have already drank and will do so until I quench my thirst. Um. Pay attention. Huh? Jalut gathered his army next to the doors of his city. We have to attack them there. Let's go. Let's go!
How can we confront Jalut and his mighty army? We will hide from Talut and his men until they go to meet Jalut without us. We will move as follows. Those who obeyed my orders and did not drink are the elite and our strongest men. Therefore, they will be with me in the forefront. Behind us are those who drank a little bit. And finally, behind those are those who drank until they quenched their thirst. Only a few soldiers are still around here. And the rest have escaped just as you thought, my commander. <laughs> we can't oblige them to fight and await victory. We are better without them. Salute's army is moving forward toward us very fast. Well, get ready. They are going to regret it a lot. And with this number, they won't be able to afford more than one round with us. <laughs> And leader Jalut wants to fight with your best soldier. He will get what he wants. But you can't go to him by yourself, Commander. And if you go, then who is going to lead us? And who do you think would accept this responsibility? No one can possibly defeat Jalut unless he believes in God and all of his powers. Then you should send Dawood. He will be pleased of your choice, I'm sure. Yes, but can he face Jalut? He is very faithful and very skillful in using weapons. Thanks be to God, he helped me with the Israelites and to defeat Jalut and his army. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
فلما برزوا لجالوت وجنوده قالوا ربنا أفرغ علينا صبرا وثبت أقدامنا وثبت أقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين فهزموهم بإذن الله وقتل داود جالوت وآتاه الله الملك والحكمة وآتاه الله الملك والحكمة وعلمه مما يشاء ولولا دفع الله الناس بعضهم ببعض لفسدت الأرض ولكن الله ذو فضل على العالمين صدق الله العظيم In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. And when they went into the field against Goliath and his hosts, they said, Our Lord, bestow on us endurance, make our foothold sure, and give us help against the disbelieving folk. 